The Office of Civil Defense has issued the following message. This station has interrupted its regular program. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the comms prepper with a video on the basic components of a solar system. I got some of my items out of storage today to test them out. thought I'd do a quick video. And what I got set up here right now is actually charging my ocean radio and my laptop computer. And we'll go over the basic components from the uh, sunlight to actually charging the units. So right here I have a 35 watt solar panel and the nominal output voltage of this in direct sunlight is about 17.2 volts too high for 12 volts so the solar panel feeds what they call a charge controller and this charge controller actually regulates the voltage that goes into the batteries so we have an input from the solar array and it's actually putting out 1.4 amps for charge right now into my deep cycle marine grade battery here charging this up to 12 volts and this charge controller here is a 30 amp charge controller made by a company called Sunforce which could handle more than one of these panels and again it's charging that battery and then the battery is connected here to my inverter so I'm taking 12 volts in on the rear of the inverter as the input and the inverter is actually converting 12 volts DC to 120 volts AC on the output where I have my ocean radio charger plugged in and my laptop. Now if you had 12 volt devices you could directly connect to the battery terminals here and run those devices but the inverter actually gives us the 110 volts we need for devices that don't run off of 12 volts. Now this is what they call a pure sine wave inverter and there's a difference. Inverters come in modified sine wave or pure sine wave. And a modified sine wave looks like a staircase, the sine wave itself. And then some computers are more sensitive that need that pure, clean, 60 cycle sine wave like the power company gives you. In which case, you need a pure sine wave, which I recommend for your computer equipment and your electronics equipment. So this just covers the basics of what you need if you're thinking about setting up solar. Of course, you're going to need the array, the charge controller, some batteries, and I can daisy chain these batteries in parallel, keep adding them for extra capacity. Uh, a good inverter, and this is a 1500 watt inverter, and I got this from Sears, and of course, some devices to charge. So, that's a basic video on my solar project here for my contingency communications plan. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with Solar Power Basics.